Hey guys, today I'm doing a Top 5 Wednesday and it's actually Wednesday today, look at that. Um, I'm going to be talking about the top 5 books that I want to reread. I never used to reread before because I wanted to like get to that Goodreads goal and just wanted to read something new and find new worlds and new characters, but as I have failed the Goodreads goal consistently and, I don't know, just as I've read more, I'm like missing these books and feel nostalgic about them and I think just I found some really amazing stories that I wanted to go back to, so... These are the books that I want to get back into the most. There are a lot that I want to reread. Looking at my bookshelf, there were a lot of books that I was like, I feel like reading that. The first book that I want to talk about is Chris by Marissa Meyer. This is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series, and I, when Winter came out, the final book, I was like, I should reread the whole series, and I started to do that. I read Cinder, I read Scarlet, and then I kind of just stopped, and Book Slump hit me hard, and yeah. So, I feel like it's been so long I should probably like restart the series again, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to read Chris and then finally, finally read Winter. Um, I really like this series, it's a lot of fun, it's a fairy tale retelling series. Each book focuses on a different um, fairy tale. The first one is Cinderella, and she's a cyborg, the character um, who plays like the Cinderella-like character. And the second one is Red Riding Hood, and this one is Rapunzel, so... I need to read this. I really like the end of this book. It's like the clima the climactic events are very exciting. The next book I want to read is a book that was one of my favorite books and is my favorite trilogy. I'm not sure if it's my favorite trilogy because the last time I read it I think I was 13. Um, and it is His Dark Materials, The Northern Lights, The Subtle Knife or Subtle Knife, and The Am Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. Um, this is a bind up of all of them and it's a really beautiful bind up. Um, and it's red underneath. Um, yeah. I read this a really long time ago. I was, like, amazed by the world and how fantastical and adventurous and amazing it was. I loved this series so much. It was, like, as I like, it's my favorite trilogy, I think. I think it's my favorite trilogy. Because I have been seeing some mixed reviews of it, like, when you see, when you look at the Goodreads, there's people who love it and people who feel that nostalgia, especially if you read it when you were younger, but then there's other people who don't like it as much. And also there's a lot of, um, like, religious undertones that totally, like, swept over my head when I was younger, so I, I think it'll be interesting to read now that I'm older and can sort of see what it's doing. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to read this. Probably not this year, but like very soon. I really want to read this and see what I think and I hope that I love it as much as I did the first time because I loved this. The next book is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This book used to be my favorite book ever and it was Usurped by the Child Thief by Brahm and I have been wondering about that. Like, the Child Thief was amazing, but this was, this was also amazing and it was my favorite book for such a long time and I wonder if I reread it, would it, like, go back to the top? Because I don't really remember this that much. And there are so many people who love Jane Eyre that, like, can quote parts of the books and have, like, themes and stuff that they love, but I read it such a long time ago that I don't have that. I don't have, like, my favorite quotes. I don't have, like, my favorite parts. Um, so I want to reread it. Also, this is one of those books where you can reread it and every time you read it, you get something different, um, which is a, a sign of an amazing book, so... I'm excited to see what I get this time and to get back into it in this beautiful edition. Speaking of favorite books, The Child Thief by Brahm. I read this once and my favorite books are Jane Eyre, The Odyssey, and this. And I've read Jane Eyre like two or three times, The Odyssey three or four times, and this only once. And so yeah, I'm I'm a little bit nervous to read this because it's like, is it going to be my favorite book again? Because when I read this, I was like, this is a masterpiece. Like, this is amazing. I was like blown away by how gritty and how dark and how wonderful and amazing the characters and the storyline and the, the world were of this book. And I'm like, will it be the same when I read it again? So I need to read it again and see what I think this time. It's a dark Peter Pan retelling. Very, very dark. The final book I want to reread is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This is probably the one that's actually going to get reread re this year. Um, I have sort of been planning to read the whole series, um, like, now. <laughs> I should start now, um, and finish before the end of the year. And, yeah, I really want to read this edition. It's the illustrated one by Jim Kay, and it's just going to be an experience, I think, to read it. And this is the only Harry Potter book that I've actually read. I haven't read any of the others, so 
I need to read this and like get into the series and finish the series hopefully this year. Fingers crossed. I feel like it maybe will happen. I've said that lots of times before but like I'm actually reading now so it's a possibility. Um, but yeah, I want to reread this and those are all the books that I want to reread very soon. Um, and they are all really big books. <laughs> like just a lot of a lot of a lot of reading, a lot of rereading to be done. Um, if you want to tell me some books that you want to reread, especially some books that um, every time you reread them, there's something new that you find, or it's a different experience, let me know about those books in the comment section below because I want to find more of those. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.